Hi, for those of you that regularly follow our channel, you might have seen our video about installing X and Y axis physical end stop switches in the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max. You might have also seen our recent four part video series on installing X, Y, and Z axis linear rails as well. Both are great mods for your printer. However, if you've attempted to install both mods on the same printer, you might have noticed an issue. As presented, they're not compatible. When the Y axis linear rails are installed, the printer's bed sits slightly closer to the printer's base. Unfortunately, the physical end stop switch mod involves installing a custom bracket to mount the Y axis end stop switch, and this bracket is positioned under the bed. Well, now with the lower clearance from the linear rail mod, the bracket for the Y-axis belt hits the end stop switch bracket. Not only does this reduce travel along the Y-axis, but prevents the screw in the printer's base plate from hitting the switch. As a result, the bed will crash into the bracket during homing. Since we had a little bit of free time recently, we designed a new, smaller Y-axis end stop bracket, which doesn't get in the way of the Y-axis belt or its bracket. As an added bonus, the new bracket design is stronger and more durable than the previous version. The original bracket design used thin vertical sections for the T-nuts, and the section further away from the limit switch had a slight tendency to flex and potentially even break if you tighten the screws too much. The new design has much thicker walls, so flexing should no longer be a problem. However, as a result of making the walls thicker, the M3 by 8 mm screws need to be replaced with M3 by 12 mm screws. Before we can install the new bracket, the old bracket needs to be removed. If the original bracket isn't installed in your printer, the next few steps can be skipped. Start by removing the back plate using 2mm and 3mm hex wrenches. Next, disconnect the limit switch cable and remove the limit switch. Then, loosen the Y axis belt enough so you can take the belt off the motor. Move the belt to the side. Remove the bracket and slide the T nuts out of the extrusion. Now, reinstall the belt and tighten. Finish removing the original bracket by reinstalling the back plate and limit switch cable. In order to install the new design, first prepare the bracket by installing the heat set inserts and screwing in the switch, just like the old design. Next, pre-install the two M3 T-nuts using the new M3 by 12 mm screws. Either button head or socket head will work. Now, position the bracket in the printer's extrusion, with the back of the bracket being about 44.75 mm away from the back of the printer, and tighten one screw. Test the bracket position by very slowly pushing the bed back until you hear the limit switch trigger. Once it triggers, continue pushing the bed back until the original limit screw hits the back plate. Ideally, the original limit screw will hit the back plate within a millimeter or so of the limit switch triggering. If the original limit screw hits the back plate before the limit switch is triggered, or the limit switch is fully pressed before the screw hits the back plate, adjust the bracket and try again. Finish the installation by tightening the other screw and connecting the limit switch cable. We've had this new bracket on our printer for a while now, and it's working great. But we'd love to hear from you. If you install both mods in your printer, or even just this new bracket, let us know. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be a super supporter of us, 
or BedLover5000, come visit us over at Patreon. Thanks for watching.